same guy with Buck Cherry and, and Avenge, and they called in like the afternoon before. Well, her and Buck Cherry were like big boxing people, and and they like boxing okay. out training. So my guy, this guy Eric Ryan, called me, who was my partner, and he was like, "Hey, uh, you want to come in? And Buck Cherry wants to work out with you. You know, they probably looked up, found world champion Kelly Pavlik, young son. Yeah. So many came in like seven o'clock, seven thirty in the morning, maybe eight at the latest. Damn. And I'm in there, and how cool is that going to be? That's that's you're, badass. Yeah, you're training Buck Cherry, you put him into a workout, and I kind of felt bad. Like they were awesome dudes, Josh Todd. They were all fun, but I'm going. Dude, they're playing with Avenge tonight, you know, and, and I knew I was going to the concert, so I was like super stoked, you know what I mean? So we get to the concert, and, um, and I'm in the locker room or the dressing room with uh, Buck Cherry, but the entire uh, time, like I, you know, I already got to hang out with Buck. I got to train him, and and I was in the room. I'm kind of like, now I got to get over and see the guys, but I got to see my favorite band, and, and they actually, I finally got a chance to get over with them. You know, I got a picture and everything, and, and uh, nice. guys, it was pretty cool. Um, got to go up on stage. I think uh, Buck Cherry called me out and introduced me on stage, but it was in Youngstown, same place where I fought uh, Rubio at. So it was a okay. One of my, I, I could put that up there with talking to the Ohio State team um, the night before the Michigan game, and then obviously wow. the world title. So that's awesome, dude. That that that's one people. That's one set of people. I have a list of people that I want to meet before I die. A Benson vote is, is at the top of that list. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, yeah, so, but going back to last thing, so is that kind of like your, your downtime, too? So, you know, a lot of fights yeah. with, when training. I don't know if I hit you, hit you on that one yet. Um, you know, my thing kind of was like either going to movies or finding something to kind of break me down from from the fight, you know, from people people don't understand. First of all, worrying about making weight. Um, press conferences. This... Uh, media thing and showing up here sometimes you need to get a little bit away from um boxing yeah people are, they're asking me my weight called me dana white man that's horrible um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so is uh you know that's your your little thing though with the music you find that that kind of like takes you away a little bit oh yeah yeah definitely the music um you know the guitar the piano i like to play my my ps5 it's 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 badass i i play the i can play the ps5 all day dude yeah. Just just Call of Duty, just straight Call of Duty. I like to run, believe it or not. And believe um running probably takes my mind away from things. <laughs> the music the music distracts me, it really does. Okay. And it makes me feel good inside, you know, especially when I'm done. Sometimes when I'm done, I'm like, alright, fuck it, I'm gonna go walk just because I'm not ready to go inside yet. Yeah. You no. Know? And um yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Just music, uh PS five and running. Yeah. Uh I don't I don't do too good watching I like I love watching movies. And TV shows, but I can't do it a lot. Yeah, you, I, I will miss me. you didn't pick nothing up during the quarantine. Like uh, I never I've, watched any of those uh, movies or series or anything like that. And that quarantine hit, man, where everything was shut down. Next thing I know, I, I watched did. every show that I missed in the last fifteen years. So. I did. I picked up a lot on it too. Hey, bro, have you watched Cobra Kai? Oh yeah, man. Bro, that yeah. shit's badass. Hell yeah, I got the picture. I put it up on my uh, Instagram where I'm in the Cobra Kai geek. So, Dude, I, I, if I ever do Halloween again, it's gonna be a Cobra Kai. It's, yeah. I, it's that's gonna that's gonna be my car. That's my next costume. Yeah, right okay. there. I mean, my son was excited. You know, I had to go back. For me, I had to play the movies when I was a kid, like one, two, oh, yeah. three, and put those on for my son. And then, like, he got into it from there and kind of got the storyline. And then I think what was it, New Year's Day or something? That, that new season yeah. came up, and yeah. man, we were all all about it, like. Popcorn time, ready to go, and hell yeah, it stopped everything. Yeah, there's like badass. a problem staying up till three in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm well, you, I was so I was so excited for that season, man. Yeah, well, that's cool. Oh, um, hey Virgil, I'm gonna let you go. I know you're busy, man. Um, I, I truly uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, this is my first time doing this, and you know I want to keep doing it. Um, I appreciate you giving me the time. Uh, I, you know, I tell your pops, I said hey, and best of luck. Keep us posted on. You know what's going on, what the next move is, and uh, you know I got your back, man. So I appreciate it, man. I big, appreciate you. Always, always good talking to you. Absolutely, bro. All right, man. Have a good one. Take man. care.